Hey y'all, hey. So I have a really good topic for us today. I wanna talk about making sure you give it all you have. And of course, with any topic that we talk about, it can be applied to more than just fitness, more than just weight loss, more than just wellness. This can be applied to anything that you do, whether you're trying to get a degree, whether you're trying to start a new business, whether you're trying to buy a house, like it can be applied to any and everything. Okay, so I hate when people, so like a pet peeve of mine, I, y'all know I love to tell y'all my pet peeves. I hate when people say, oh, I tried this, but it didn't work. And this could be like blank. I tried blank, but it didn't work. Okay, a lot of times, people including myself there have been plenty of things that i've tried to do people don't put a thousand percent effort into things all the time most of the time if you put all you had into something and it didn't work then you can say okay it didn't work but if you didn't really give it all you got Don't say that it didn't work. So what do I mean by giving it all you got? Working day in and day out to get it done. That's exactly what I mean. Working on it every single day. Okay, so let's use the example of wellness, losing weight, and fitness. Okay, let's use that as an example. If you're not working on trying to lose the weight that you want to lose every single day, then you can't say that, oh, this particular lifestyle change that I tried didn't work for me. Even if you're not going to the gym every day because you're not supposed to go to the gym every day, you and I both know that you're supposed to take your rest days. But are you eating healthy more days than not? Or are you having more cheap meals than healthy meals? Are you really researching what kind of food you should be eating and eliminating completely from your diet? Or are you going off of what your girlfriends told you who are still overweight and ain't lost no weight, but they are the experts? Or are you going off of what your family says and everybody overweight? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Are you truly immersing yourself in what it is that you're trying to accomplish? Yes or no? When I set out to lose my weight, I've lost 115 pounds in the course of 15 months. I immersed myself in weight loss. I immersed myself in fitness. I immersed myself in plant-based diets, plant-based foods. Y'all know I'm vegan, okay? When I set out to do this, I, I made sure to obtain as much knowledge as I possibly could about all three topics. I hired a personal trainer who also educated me. I then went and got a gym membership. I did so many things to make sure that I lost the weight. I didn't just go on a fad diet for two weeks and get mad because I didn't lose 50 pounds in two weeks. Or I didn't go on a fad diet and lose 20 pounds in a month and then got mad because I decided to start eating like how I used to eat and then gained it all back and then some. I didn't get mad because I went to the gym one day out of two weeks and I don't see any progress in my physical appearance. Do y'all get what I'm trying to say? You have to really lock in in order to accomplish what it is that you wanna accomplish. If you're not truly locking into it, don't get mad because it's not working. Or even if you don't get mad, don't be so quick to say it didn't work. Did it not work or did you not follow the plan, sis? (laughs) <laughs> Some of y'all only want to follow bits and pieces of the plan. Okay, it says to eat whole foods 
So I'm going to eat whole foods on Monday and Tuesday, but Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I'm going to fast food. What? Did it say to do that? Did the plan say to eat fast food four days out the week and only eat healthy three of those days? I don't know what plan you're going off of, but it ain't the plan I wrote you. Did the plan say to only work out on Monday and Wednesday and then the rest of the week you can just be a couch potato? I don't know what plan you're following, but it's not the plan I wrote you. Like, y'all be so quick to give up on things. And that's what it'd be like really frustrating because it's like people get so wrapped up in seeing results so quick. And that's the society we live in. That's the sad part about it. It's like everything is wanted so fast. Oh, let's go get lipo real quick. We can be skinny in a matter of five hours. Okay, but what you going to do when you still eat like shit and now you have more fat that needs to be taken care of? You just going to get that sucked out too? I mean, hey, if you got the money to do it, by all means do it. But at some point, you got to change your eat habits. At some point, the way you eat is going to affect your insides. It's going to affect your kidneys. It's going to affect your arteries. It's not always, not just about fat deposits, y'all. <laughs> like, it's going to affect your cholesterol levels. You can't, you can't live healthy like that. You still have to change what you eat. You're not supposed to be eating processed foods all the time. So at some point, that still has to change, no matter how much lipo you get. Yeah, you might look small, but that doesn't mean that your blood levels are healthy. That doesn't mean your sugar levels are healthy. You can't lipo your way out of diabetes. Type 2, if you're going to eat all that sugar and all those saturated fats, you can still get type 2 diabetes. There's no way around it. So at some point, you have to change but not just change for a couple of days. That's why I say this is a lifestyle change. This is not a diet. So many of you guys want to get into diets. Y'all want to be on water diets, cleanses. What? You going to sustain that forever until the day you die? You only going to drink water forever? You're only going to juice forever? That's not sustainable. Nowhere in the plan does it say to eliminate carbs forever. There's nothing wrong with carbs. Carbs are so healthy for you. Fruits, vegetables. Now the carbs, the, the complex carbs, yes. I mean, excuse me, the simple carbs, yes. You shouldn't be eating any of that or at least minimize it. So like the donuts, the chips, the processed foods. But to completely say, oh, I'm not eating carbs. What? Forever? Why? Who told you that? Who told you not to eat carbs? Oh, I forgot something you read off of the internet or something your friend told you to do. That's not backed by any research whatsoever. It's just something that you came up with. Please make it make sense. <laughs> Can we please make it make sense? I just, I, I really want you guys to, before you say something didn't work, can we normalize giving it 10,000% effort first before we say it didn't work? Can we normalize following the play to the T and not, not uh, maneuvering around it, not swaying away from the play before you say it didn't work? Can we do that? If you have 10 bullets on what to do, can you do all 10 bullet points every day for at least six months before you say that it didn't work? Can we do that? Can we try that? Because some of y'all impatient as hell. <laughs> I'm going to just keep it with, I'm going to just keep it real with y'all. Some of y'all are impatient as hell. And that's because of the society we live in. Everything's supposed to happen so quickly. But when it comes to living a healthy lifestyle, achieving your dream fitness body, whatever that is for you, you can't get that quickly. That takes time. 
Think about all the years it took you to gain the weight. You didn't gain that weight overnight. I mean, if you want to lose five pounds, okay, maybe you, maybe you gained it in like two weeks. Okay. Maybe a week. Maybe. Maybe. But you didn't gain a hundred pounds in three months. So why do you think that you're supposed to be able to lose a hundred pounds in two weeks? <laughs> the math just ain't math in like it makes no sense. I'm trying not to laugh, but it's true. Like some of the some of y'all's thought processes just don't make any sense. It's called delayed gratification. And that's one thing this whole weight loss journey has taught me. It's taught me patience. <laughs> it has taught me patience. It's taught me dedication. It's taught me discipline. You can't buy that. You can't buy discipline, y'all. This is not for sale anywhere. <laughs> like, you're either going to work hard for something and wait for the results. Or you're not, and you're going to complain, and then you're going to say it didn't work for you. But you didn't even really try it in the first place. You think you tried it, but a lot of times we're really good at lying to ourselves because we don't want to face the truth. So we say we tried something, but we didn't really try it. But you tried it for a few hours, maybe a week, but you didn't really try it. You didn't really give it everything you had. You still cheated most of the time. You still didn't work out most of the time. You didn't really try. Because if you really tried, you would have results. That's the truth, especially if you're overweight. It's calories in versus calories out. That's it, y'all. It doesn't get any more simpler than that. How much did you eat versus how much did you burn? That's it. That's as simple as it gets. So if you're still eating more and then what you burn, you're still going to gain weight, period. And the only way you're doing that is you are, if you're constantly eating processed foods, if you're constantly going out to eat, if you're constantly drinking soda, if you're constantly drinking juices, if you're constantly getting fast food, if you're constantly eating sweets, not fruit sweets, but sweets like Donuts and brownies and ice cream. Chips. That's why you're not losing weight. Half of y'all can't put the soda down. I don't even know why, because the soda doesn't even quench your thirst. You're still thirsty after you drink it. Y'all haven't noticed that yet? They designed it that way on purpose. They want you to keep coming back. It doesn't even quench your thirst. If it quenched your thirst, why do you need four sodas a day? If it, if you were really able to drink it and not be thirsty anymore, why do you always have soda in your hand? When you drink the water, you can put the water down because your thirst has been quenched. <laughs> it helps you to stop being thirsty. Does that make sense? So I really want you guys, like I said, to lock in on giving it all you got. When you have a plan, follow it. Don't deviate from it. Follow it to the T. If you do those things, it will work. If you immerse yourself in what you're trying to accomplish and educate yourself on it, it will work. There's been, there's been so many success stories of people who are losing weight and keeping it off. You're no different than them. Sure, you may have different responsibilities. You might have a different weight loss goal, but you are still capable of losing weight and keeping it off. If they can do it, if I can do it, you can do it. But you have to try. You have to want to try. And you have to want to change. No one can change you. No one can make you change. You have to want to change. If you don't want to change, you're going to continue to be the same way. Okay? So I hope you guys liked tonight's discussion. Make sure you guys leave a comment. Make sure you guys thumbs up this video. Let's get the algorithm, algorithming you guys. The more you guys interact with my content, the more YouTube is going to share it.
to more and more people. Also, make sure you guys follow me on TikTok if you have not already. I go live on there and I'm in the gym when I go live so y'all can see my workouts and things like that. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. Also, you guys, I just finished a how, how to lose 10 pounds in 30 days guide. It is in my description. The link is in my description. It is free to download. So check that out. Get some good reading in, take some notes. It's 100% free. Make sure you guys check that out. Let's start losing the weight before the new year's. We still have what, uh, two, two and a half weeks before January one. You don't have to wait till January one to lose weight. You can lose weight right now. <laughs> you can start the process right now. You can start eating clean right now. You can start exercising right now. You don't have to wait till January one. So make sure you guys check out that free guide. The link is also going to be right up here and I will see you guys in my next YouTube video. Bye.